Welcome back to Chris Review Stuff. It is summertime here, so we needed something to something new this summer, so I figured let's get something to use on the water. Uh, we do go to the lakes, we go to the beach, we go to the bayside, and I figured something I see a couple people do while we go to the beach, that's those stand-up paddle boards. However, I don't have a vehicle to get those paddle boards, said paddle boards to the beach or to the lake. Um, so I looked around, did some research, and they do make something for people like me, or people hopefully like you. Um, they're inflatable paddle boards, and they're tiny. That's what I'm looking at right now. So the one in particular that I bought, I'll put the link in the description, um, it fits in this bag. Like this is everything, and this bag is not full. Um, it comes with the paddle, which is a three-piece paddle and adjustable to your height. It even shows what height it is. We'll get into it. Um, the a repair kit. I, you know, obviously the paddle board, uh, infl an inflator, um, a pump, and a couple other things which are useful tools for it as well. Kind of doing this video a little out of order, so I'm going to show you what comes in the box. I don't have an unboxing part of it because, well, the box arrived and we were going on vacation, so I didn't have time to film me unboxing it. So what I can do is I'm going to take everything out of this, this bag here that I'm picking at one hand, and kind of lay it out and show what you get in this particular package. There are a few of them out there. This is the one that I thought would be really cool. This is a product that I've ordered a couple things from before. Uh, it's affordable. It was just, you know, really cheap as opposed to, you know, the, the paddle boards that you have to store, those big 12-foot paddle boards you have to store somewhere. Like I said, everything fits in this. You know, you get your paddle that you can use for something else. You get a pump that you can use for anything else, you know. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll take everything out of this, kind of show you everything you get, and then I'll show footage of me actually using it. I just want to say this is the first time I've ever used this, so don't please don't look at me and say, oh, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it whatever, because I've never done it before. This was something I kind of thought would be kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, myself and my two-year-old son tried it, but no one else wanted to give it a try. So, yeah, it's rather difficult, but once you got up on it, once I did, was able to stand up on it while... Wow, I later found out I was standing on it incorrectly, but once I could stand up on it, I felt a little at ease. Um, sitting on it with my knees, really comfortable. Um, really cool just to kind of paddle around. I felt like I could get wet if I wanted to, but not falling in. Pretty fun. Uh, I do see the appeal of this as opposed to, you know, a, a kayak or canoe, because you're really in the water standing just on a board. You put your foot over the side and you're in the water. Uh, I do see the appeal because you do get that good the good core exercise there. And it's just kind of cool, you're exposed, you know, you have that yoga thing. And the yoga thing's not for me on this. I have done yoga, but not on a, on a paddle board. But let's go ahead, get everything unpacked, and kind of just show you everything. All right, so I'm gonna stand here, so you can kind of see the, the size of everything here. The bag itself is rather hard, you know, sturdy. I don't think it's gonna wear out. It has some straps here on the side, so you can probably attach it to something. A strap here so you can kind of pull it tight so it takes up less room. Same on the other side. You have a nice little pouch here so you can put, like, we've used it for a water bottle. The coolest part, it's got two nice padded uh, straps here so you can use it as a backpack. You throw it on your bag, on your back, and then you have a, a padded handle up here to hold it as well. I just use it as a backpack and carry it in. Let's see this inside. <clears throat> So it does fully open, allowing, giving you full access to everything. So you have a pump. Um, you'll notice that this pump has two attachments here. You'll use this hose to attach on either the top if you're going to inflate or on the bottom if you're going to deflate, right? Yeah, okay. So you would use this if you're going to suck the air out of the, the, um, the paddle board, and you're going to use this to put air into the paddle board. It's a nice pump, too. I'm um, going to use this for a couple other things. What's one thing I want to show with this, though, is this part obviously goes into it. There's two ends. You, you, can't, you can't mistake them. This end goes into the, the pump. This end is kind of a weird end here. Let's see if we can get a close on it. This goes into the paddleboard, and it's, it's designed so that it hooks into the paddleboard. It pushes in the pin to allow air to flow in or out. And then as soon as you disconnect this, it lets go of that pin so you don't lose any air. There's none of that 
you know, that pool, if you're putting that pool together for your kid, you got to kind of blow into it and then real quick push that, that, that nozzle back in there. There's none of that with this. So you do have a strap that it comes with to keep the paddle board in its shape, you know, the rolled up shape here. We'll come back to this in a second. It comes with a fin um, with a way to attach it to the board. I'll show this in a little further detail as well. So you'll use this to kind of put this in there. I'll show you that in a second. This is the instruction manual I'm telling, I told you about before. There's a couple things in here you want to just kind of, you know, safety regulations, you know, safety checklists, just how to use it, how to pump it up. Um, it, it really is very simple to understand how to do these things, but this is worth checking out. I mean, you're, you're working with something you're going to be standing on in water. You want to make sure that you know how to use it properly. You don't want to just, you know, ruin something you just purchased. So do read this. <clears throat> now, this is the paddle here. Um, it's got a nice curve to it. I felt like I was getting some nice, uh, I was displacing a lot of water with this, so that was really good to keep momentum going. Now, I said it was in three pieces, but it attaches here. The third piece is already inside of here. So this opens up. Once you screw it in with a real screwdriver, because it does come with this screwdriver here, which is just like a hard foreign plastic, it works, but it doesn't work super well. So I used a real screwdriver here to tighten this up. And then on here, you have heights. So you have 511, 6, 601, 62, 63. So you have different heights for, for its users. So, and then you also in centimeters, so in case you're not, uh, in case you're metric. So I'm about 5'11", so I just kept that there. Boom, it tells me that's where I should be. It's a nice, it's got a nice grip on here too for your hand to grab the paddle, you know, wrap your fingers around and dig with your paddling. So this part does come out, that's why I said it was three pieces, but once it's in, you don't really have to, uh, take it apart ever again. Okay, so let's get down to the paddleboard itself. So it does come with this to kind of keep it where, where it needs to be. So I'm not going to fully unpack it just yet, but we'll notice you do have your inflatable. You'll see that the this is the inflatable part. The whole thing is inflatable, sure, but this is like the rubber part. And then you have this, this hardened foam on here. This black is where you're going to stand. So it's a nice hard, it's got a little bit of texture too with this rib here, so you, you have some, you know, some stability on it. If I move this down, there's a handle grip here. So this is gonna help you carry it. Um, when I first stood on it the first time, I thought this was for your foot. You know, you put your foot in here like a snowboard, kind of hold it, yeah, that's wrong. Uh, this is so you can kind of carry it because it's like the center of the board. And then we'll kind of just go the whole length here. Okay, so let's bring this part back. <clears throat> you can see this is what's really cool about this. Um, this is the air we're going to pump. So again, you'll notice on the pump, we have the same, same kind of mechanism here. This, these two like hooks almost. And then this is the pin that I'm talking about. And when you hook this, you just kind of push this in and turn. It's very intuitive. Uh, you know, you, there's nothing else to really do. You kind of just you push it in there. You, oh, okay, I turn it. Really easy. Again, it's in this instruction manual, but I don't think you really need it for it. Also, read this. Inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Maximum displaced pressure. It tells you 15 PSI. Caution. Deflate the board when it's not in use or exposed to direct sunlight. I don't know why it says that, but it's worth noting that it does say it. So, take care. You have a Pat here that you can, I guess, tie it to, or if you want to tie it to the back of the boat or something, you can, whatever. The inflating system is really cool, really easy. I've got, I've got some view of that too. So on the other side of this is the fin. So you'll notice the fin can, it only can slide in one side. Right over here is a slot where you just push it in. Well, let's put it in the right way, huh? Yeah, okay. So there's a thing there. And then 
as if you put it in the right way, which I just did, this part here slides into a divot that's here and it locks this fin in. And then how you take it out is just kind of push this pin, pull it back out. So that's what locks this fin into the side of here so you can steer and maneuver. You just kind of, kind of have to uh, push it back out a little bit to get it out. You know, you don't want it to be super easy. So that's good. There's a hole here you can probably see. Um, this can slide in for storage or you know, whatever. <clears throat> All right, now let's go to the front of it. You'll notice on the underside of this is another one of those um, tie hooks. I have, this it comes with this to kind of just protect the board from, I guess, that. Whatever, kind of cool, nice feature, I guess. And this is that tie down I was talking about. You could put an extra, extra pair of clothes, extra shirt, even a cooler, you know, you could put under here with these bungees. The bungees are nice and tight. I did not use this, but I could definitely see someone who's going out for the entire day on their board using this. It's a nice feature. It kind of gives you some ability to, because you're not going to be up here standing here. So you can put some stuff up here and keep it for later. All right, so the main selling point on this, I think, is the fact that it is inflatable. Um, you know, you don't have this big 12-foot, big paddle board. You inflate it when you need and deflate it when you want to store it or just put it away or you're done. So you can keep this in your car in that bag I showed you uh, with all this stuff, and it's small. You know, you're not taking up the roof of your SUV or your truck to, to bring this places. You can store this in your little car, your compact, and unroll it. Pump it up when you need, roll it back up when you're done. You don't have to worry about keeping this big board outside or in the garage or somewhere. You know, I had a friend who had a paddle board in an apartment and he kept it on the deck outside, you know. So it's exposed to the elements and someone can see this big, you know, expensive paddle board on your deck all the time. And it's kind of a problem. I, I think it was kind of an eyesore too. Whereas with this inflatable one, you just roll it up, deflate it, and you're done, you know. So you can keep it wherever you want, easy to store. Really, the portability is there as well. You know, you can put it in any car, and within minutes, four or five minutes, it's inflated. You're ready to ride. And it's a lot of fun. I don't think the fact that it's inflatable is any less fun than a standard paddleboard. paddleboard. Um, I think that's really a big selling point for me. That's why we got it, and I'm really happy with the purchase so far. Really looking forward to taking this out into the bay and seeing how it handles, you know, with a little more wind. And I don't think that would be a problem because I see a lot of people out there doing it as well. So really happy with my purchase. And I could recommend, I definitely recommend this to anyone looking for something else to ride on the water or just something to have fun to play with, you know, during the summer if you have a lake nearby. This is really cool. And I love the fact that it's inflatable because you don't have this big giant thing all the time. Just roll it up and put it away.